So we're going to start up nice and tall at the front of our mats today. Welcome to Yoga Pilates. I'm Jesse. <laughs> so let's just take a moment here, roll the shoulders back and down, start to orient the feet into the mat. Maybe picking up the toes, picking up the toe pads, balancing back on the heels and setting the toe pads down. And we'll just work on a little mat connection here. We'll roll the big toes up and over. And then see how slowly you can set the toes back to the mat, big toe pads come down last. And then we'll take that in reverse, picking up two key toes, and then all four other toes follow you. Roll those toes from the toe. And then slowly set it all back down. You can start to rock here, wiggle out the shoulders, and inhale, arms up to the sky, belly sinks back towards the spine, and shoulders roll back and down. We'll encompass that left wrist with the right hand here, big stretch, nice and tall, exhale out to the right. A few big breaths into that left side rib cage. And as we exhale, we start to round the spine, bend the knees, and make your way into forward fold. Take a moment, find a little rag doll. And then you can encompass that right wrist with the left finger. As we inhale, we go up and over to the left big stretch, breathing into the right side rib cage. And we'll take it one last time here. Big bend in the knees. Nice round spine. Drop it down. Forward fold. Fingers wrap around that left wrist. Open to the right. Exhale back down. And here we go. Hands to behind the back here. We're going to interlace those fingers. Draw the navel towards the spine, nice and straight. Open up here at the chest, take a few breaths. You can maybe weave a step the right ear to the right shoulder, left ear to the left. Just teetering here, then we'll drop the chin down to the chest. And just ball the chin from side to side. Your thigh right hand dressed right here. So we're bringing some nice activity into that. As we exhale, we start to bend the knees around the spine. Find your forward fold. If it feels good, hands can stay here. Head to the down to the earth. Take a few breaths. Exhale, hands come down to your mat. Head gets heavy. And you can just take a moment, march to the heels. As we inhale, gaze goes forward and we step back into high plank. If this is too tiring for you, by all means, drop on down to the knees. Meet yourself where you're at today. Stretching through the crown forward, reaching back through the heels. We're going to find three breaths, building some heat active in the core. She says, when we come, As we exhale, we take those knees down to the mat. And we're just going to work from here for only a moment. So we're going to take that left foot out and behind us. Right foot comes up over the front. Right hand touching the side. Those hips nice and sad. Flexing through that right foot. See if you can flex. As you exhale, we point those feet out. And you want to stretch the calf out and away through your heels. And exhale, shut it up. And to a point in the left, we're going to take three small circles out in front. And then reverse. Three circles reaching on back in and back. Don't exhale, both hands back to the earth, and both feet come back behind us. Exhale, the spine up to the sky. Press one back, find a child's pose or a puppy pose. Exhale, 
Inhale, tabletop. As we exhale, right foot steps back behind us. Left leg stretches, we stack those hips and come up in our side plank. Left fingertips high and we'll flex out through that left foot. Go ahead and lift up here. Take the breath, press out and away. Pointing those toes, we tap them out. Inhale, nice and out. Lift up. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. We keep those toes pointed. Three little circles out and around the front. And reverse. When you're ready, the left hand comes back to the mat. And we bring those knees back in through center. We're going to meet down on the elbows. Elbows under shoulders, hips stay high, forehead drops down to the elbows, puppy pose. Inhale, rise on a pallet. Are the knees doing out there? Should we get off these knees now or can we stay here for one more session? Knees all right? All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to step those knees one pace back behind us. Hands are going to stay out in front, interlacing fingers. Exhale, forehead drops down between the elbows. Inhale, chin shifts out of the box. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, we're going to find that neutral position. Shoulder and elbows are in line. Take three big breaths. Building some heat in the core, working those arms. And as we exhale, we just set the pelvis down to the earth. Elbows stay right underneath shoulders. We need to open the fingertips forward. Up and press into the tops of the feet. Energetically, imagine your elbows reaching back and down. Roll the chest forward, knees up to the sky. As we exhale, we drop the forehead down to the mat, take the elbows wide. And you can kick the feet from side to side, just lifting those feet up to the sky. Take a moment. Pressing those feet into the mat. You can rest the forehead down on your stacked hands. Inhale, lift, elbows reach wide. You lift that forehead up on the mat. And two foot of right hand. Inhale, bring it right back up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, hands sweep back by the chest. Elbows reach down towards the hips. And we press up and back into a comfortable seat on the mat. Feet come around the front. And just take a minute here, shake out the thighs, roll out the shoulders, then find your brain. So you can decide from here, do you want your toes nice and loose, or do you want to flex those feet and keep those legs engaged? Finding those sit bones underneath us here. We're going to roll the shoulders back and down, lift the ring, and we're going to take the rest to the inside of that ring, pressing out and away. Three big breaths to the right here. Nice and energetic through the shoulders. Inhale, arms up and over, and shoulders roll back and down. Press those wrists out and away, and some active three breaths. Exhale, right down. Press out and away. Inhale, press. Shoulders are comfortably rolling down the spine. Exhale it down. This time we're going to round the spine. Inhale, reach forward like you're reaching out for your friend in front of you. Inhale, arms reach high. We slowly release that. 
Nice. Two more times. Nice round spine. Wow. Arms come down. We roll it forward. Big stretch. Reach out and away. Inhale. Start to stretch. And arms come up. Sky press out and away. Last time here, arms come down. We were working from the shoulder blades here, so rolling those shoulders down and back. Nice round spine. We reach forward for a high. And we start to stack the vertebra one more time. Arms reach up to the sky. Exhale those arms right back down. You can give yourself a break or you can sit off to the side. And bring ourselves into easy seat here. So just nice and loose with the knees. And we'll find that ring one more time. Rolling those shoulders back and down. Hands kind of clamp here around the spongy part of your ring. And we'll just start to twist out to the right. Following with the gaze, big smile. And up to the center. Exhale up to the left, following with the gaze. Inhale up to the center. One more time. Exhale to the right. And up to the center. Exhale left. Inhale, center. We're going to place that ring right under the chest here, right at the base of the sternum. Arms can round out around here. And we're going to work nice and tall to the crown. Sit bones are heavy in the mat. And we'll exhale up to the right. One, two, three, big twist. Inhale back to the center. And exhale left. One, two, three. Inhale, to the right, we exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, back to center, last time to the left, three, big exhales, one, two, three. Inhale, bring your right back to the center. And we'll bring those legs back around front. You can keep a hold of your wings here. Let's just take a moment, bend those knees up. Wiggle out the toes. Wiggle out the ankles. Roll the shoulders back and down and grasp behind the thighs. Go around the spine. Take a halfway back. Inhale, nice and slow. Stack the spine as we rise up. Exhale, big round spine. Drop it on back. Inhale, nice and slowly rise up. This time we're going to add on. So we're going to exhale it back. Nice round spine. Inhale, arms reach out in front. Press back and away from the shoulder. Inhale, right arm. Left knee follow. Inhale, slowly stack. Exhale, hands back behind the thighs. Roll it on back. Inhale, hands forward, right arm. Left arm up. And now we'll come in for our roll up here. So go ahead, straighten out. We're going to take that ring around the right foot. So that's a flex that right foot. Left foot can be heavy and tested here. We're just going to prep. So roll those shoulders back and down. Start to hollow out the belly. Roll on back. Maybe you just want to go halfway back to center. And slowly stop the spine. Going a little further this time when you're ready, rounding the spine. Let me tail those forward. Take it all the way back. Take a moment, find a few breaths. Open that hamstring here. And when you're ready, you can slowly start to round the spine, rising. Two more times we exhale around the spine. Work at your own pace. Pulse anywhere that you feel like you need a few breaths. Last one. And when you're ready, you can switch those feet out here so that 
Bring the palms around the left foot. We'll flex through the left heel here. Start to roll the shoulders down and back halfway down this time. We start to lift that left heel all around the belt. And you rise up. Maybe you want to stay right there today, or maybe you want to take it all the way on back. Nice. Slow roll back. And you know, roll all the way up. Pulsing anywhere that's speaking to you today. Maybe you want to take a few breaths into that hamstring. Keeping that spine round until we sit all the way up one last time here. Work at your own pace. <laughs> We're back. So deciding here if you want to use the ring for a double roll up here, or if you just want to use your hands. I'm going to go with just my hands here. So we're going to inhale up. So we start to hollow out that belly. Drop on down slowly, setting each vertebra down one at a time. Hands can reach back behind us. As we inhale, we start to rise up and place the ground on the spine. Maybe you reach all the way up and over to the forward fold. Inhale, start to rise up around the spine. Down to the middle. Inhale, slowly rise up, step the spine forward. We'll meet nice and high here, sky. Then we'll draw those knees and give yourself a little squeeze, maybe even round that spine out. Take the rest over those knees. Slowly rise up. You can decide if you want to take it off that nice and easy, or if you want to roll back. Knees come in with that. We're going to meet with those feet in the mat, knee up to the sky. Start to activate that lower spine in the mat. If you need to, maybe a slight tilt of the tailbone to the sky here. We're going to walk the heels back towards the sit bone and reach the fingertips down by the hips. Walking those shoulder blades together, we're just going to find our half. Bridge. So we're going to rise up about three or four inches, starting to let the weight drop back into those shoulders, pressing out and away from the thigh bones to the breath. Inhale, fingertips can rise up to the sky. Exhale, open the arms out into a T, palms face the sky. Inhale, palms will reach up to the sky. Exhale, we set everything back down nice and slow to the mat. As we inhale, we rise up. Try to get those hip bones even with the knees this time. Nice full bridge. Fingertips rise up to the sky. Exhale, reach fingertips back behind you. Let the weight drop into the shoulders. Thigh bones get nice and long towards the top of the mat. Inhale, fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, hands come back down by the hips. We're going to work from here for a moment. So if you'd like to float those palms down into the mat, start to press into the palms, but don't feel the strain. As we exhale, we drop that right hip down towards the earth, hovering it about an inch or two from the mouth. Inhale, right hip comes back even with left. Exhale, left hip drops. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, left. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. So exhale, we drop that right hip down. Inhale, left. Exhale up. Inhale up. We're gonna pull shoulders and reaches up to the sky for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
little one, set it all back down, maybe a bit of uh, ease in the chest. And if you'd like, you can even exhale, nose down. Exhale, set it back down. We're going to bring those feet back into the mat. Knees stay high to the sky. We're going to find that ball this time. Place the ball between the thighs. Take a moment. Make sure your lower spine is imprinted in the mat. We're going to bring those arms out to a T. Palms face the sky. And then we'll bend at the elbows. Practice arms here. Lunge your mat between your thumb and forefinger. So we have that grip strength working. We're going to pull out and away on the mat, activate the elbows. And then we'll start to squeeze that ball between the thighs. Pulsing here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Exhale, release your squeeze. You can release your grip strength. Starting to activate those elbows into the earth, pulling out and away on the mat. We're going to inhale, come into reverse. Point the toes, squeeze that ball. Exhale, drop those toes halfway down. Inhale, big squeeze, coming back into reverse table. Exhale, tap your toes into the water here. Inhale, three more times. Exhale, tap. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale up. Last one. Exhale. We're gonna hold here for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, four. Inhale it back up. Exhale, knees to chest. You can set your ball off to the side for just a moment. Giving those legs a break, we'll rest those feet into the mat. Just let your spine get heavy in the earth. Arms are going to come out to a T ball that's in the right hand. We'll just, just squeeze that ball in the right hand. When you're right, inhale, both fingers reach up to the sky, arms reach up, shoulders get active in the mat. We switch the ball over to the left hand, and squeeze out to a T with the arms. Inhale, the back to center. Nice and active through the shoulders, switching that ball of right hand, big squeeze, and out to that center. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, ball goes left. Inhale, up, ball goes right. This time, big squeeze on the ball. Right hand drops back behind. Inhale up nice and high, ball goes left, big squeeze, left arm extends back behind. Inhale up, exhale, right drops. Inhale, left hand, big stretch as the hand stretches back behind us. Inhale up, ball goes right, and we drop the hands down by the hips this time. Big squeeze through that right palm with the ball. Inhale, arms up and over. We're going to make snow angels here. Once we get back behind us, big squeeze through that left hand. And we come on back, big circle back to the hips. And just three more times. Right arm here, up and over, left arm down and around. And then we're going to mix it up. So just a few reverse here. We're starting out top, nice and high, left hand, tap down the center and to the right, three times. Hands the hands by the hips, falls in that right hand. Press into the feet, lift the hips, and place the ball at the base of the heel bone. So we're in a supported grip with that ball. When you're ready, start to let your hips sink into the ball. Knees are up nice and high to start. If you want to keep your arms active here, you can reach down, find your mat down above your hips. Start to pull out and away on your mat. We're just going to open those legs nice and long. Feet get relaxed. 
When you're ready, knees bend up to the sky. We're going to inhale, right toes up to the sky. Find your balance on that ball, trying to keep those hips square to the sky. As we point the right toes, we make a little circle out to the right. Five, four, three, two, one. And take them over to the left. Small circles out and over. Working right on that bed. As we exhale, we interlace the fingers behind that right thigh. You can have a big bend in the knee here, especially if your hamstring's tight. We're going to flex that right foot, drop the heel down towards the feet. Inhale, point the toes to the sky. Exhale, nice and slow. Five more times here, just massaging your hands. Meeting with the right toes up to the sky, having that gentle bend in the knee. We're just going to pulse, squeeze that thigh back towards the chest. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Release and you can set that right foot back to the mat. When you're ready, left toe shoot up to the sky. Find that balance, keeping those hips straight up to the sky. When you're ready, we take those five little circles in to the right. Isolating these movements in the hips when you're ready. Five small circles out to the left. Very good. Start to relax through that left leg, gentle bend in the knees. We're going to interlace the hands right behind that left thigh. Gentle squeeze, left thigh comes into chest. We flex through the base of that left foot, drop the heel point. Inhale, toe point. Extend the leg. Exhale, big flex. Inhale, point. And show me a few more times here. And then you're ready. Gentle bend in that knee. Knee press back towards the chest and we pulse here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Big squeeze and then release. Left foot back to the earth. Very good. Extend that right heel nice and long, really active through that right hip flexor. Left foot stays planted in the mat. As we inhale, we point the toes to the left foot, right foot, about 45 degrees out of the knee. So the knees are even here. Flex that heel down the way past the mat. Inhale, point to the left Exhale, flex the mat. Three more in. Exhale, see how much you can press the room in front of you away as you tap back down. Nice and active and strong to that hip. Last one. Maybe even hover when that foot's high. Take a breath. And then slowly tap it out and grab that heel back. And we'll take it on the left side. Extending left foot long, flex out and away through that heel. Find breath here. Feel that hip flexor start to get active. 
pointing those toes. We inhale, rise up, knees come even here. Exhale, flex back down. Nice, slow, isolated movements one more time. One. Take a middle breath, pass out our way through that heel, and then slowly bring it down. Heel draws in, and then you come up off that ball, the ball off to the side. Inhale, reverse cable. Exhale, knees drop heavy to the right. Just take a moment, nice final twist. Maybe gazing out over left fingertips, right hand can even rest down to that left side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, knees drop heavy left. Gazing out over the right hand. And maybe left hand comes to right side. If it's just a little deeper. Inhale back to center and you can roll on over to your favorite side. We're going to come in for a little side leg work and we'll keep our ball handy here so you can just bring that ball around the front, extending our left arm long. We'll see you on that left side. And we're just going to bend the feet in here, place the ball between the ankles, start to extend those legs nice and long. So just find your balance here. Maybe you want to be up tall with that right hand out in front. We're going to bring those legs slightly out in front of us here. Start to squeeze your ball. As we inhale, we lift up, press that bottom ankle into the ball. Find a breath, exhale down. Inhale, lift, top ankle squeezes this time. Hold here, exhale, tap it down. Inhale, lift, bottom ankle squeeze. Exhale. Last time here. Inhale, lift, top ankle, take a breath. Exhale, back down. And we'll just pulse here as we inhale, we lift, exhale, turn. And just start to do a little Nice and active through that. Two more. And you can bend those feet and remove that ball. And if you want to bring the ball around front just to help you balance, you can do that here too. Release those knees to the bend. And in, pushing those heels together and kind of open. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale, last time, inhale it up. This one will bring those toes up to the knee. Inhale, flex out and away. Start to bring the legs around from the straight here. Start to flex through our upper leg. Inhale, left. Exhale, turn the side. Inhale, left. Press out and away through that heel. Exhale, turn the side. Inhale, flex. Exhale, step. This time we're going to flex and drop those toes down around the front. Exhale, step. Inhale, left. Exhale, tap. So just start to work from here two more times. And then we'll take that on back. So we flex and lift, point and tap back behind us. Inhale, stack it up. Three more.
and then we can just draw those knees in. Come on down to the mat if you're up high and we'll switch sides. So just make your way onto that right hip. We'll have that ball handy. You can be up high here or with that arm extended nice and long. See where you want to be. We're going to draw those feet in. Place that ball between the feet. Leg shifts slightly out around front. We start to squeeze here. So big squeeze on those ankles. We stack those hips nice and tall and we begin to lift. Big squeeze. Bottom ankle squeezes in. Take a breath. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Top ankle squeezes and take a breath. Exhale, tap. Inhale, up, bottom ankle. Exhale, tap. Inhale, up, top ankle squeezes. And we set it down. We're going to pulse here. So we're going to inhale, lift. Exhale, set it down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend those ankles back. Grab that ball. You can bring it around front. Knees are nice and softly bent. And we'll start to open those knees, pressing heels together. Exhale. Four more times. Creating a resistance here. Next time, we're going to inhale, extend, flex out and away. Draw the toes in, stack it on the knee. Legs press it out and away. Four. And then we put those legs nice and long. You can bring the feet around front a little more so we have a nice angle in the body. We'll start to flex that top foot. Inhale, lift. Exhale, point. Four more. And when you're all finished with those four, we lift it up, flex out and away. Tap down in front, flex and lift, stack it up. Inhale, point, tap. Three more times. Once she finished, she can start to take it back. So flex it up and away, point and tap back. Flex and set. Point. Four. Once you finish that last round, slowly make your way onto the spine. Knees come up to the sky. We can plant that spine into the mat. Take the feet wide. Take a moment and just let yourself catch up with your breath. Close down the eyes. Palms get soft by the side. Take them up to the side. Opening the fingers a little bit wider here. Just let yourself get heavy. Let your mind and body relax. Feeling all the muscles want to filter and crack and start to bring a warm relaxation into the body. Inhale, you can extend those feet out long, point the toes out and away. Inhale, sweep the arms up behind you, maybe interlace those fingers and turn the palms inside out. Big pencil pose stretch here. 
as we exhale, knees bend into the chest. We give those knees a big hug. Rocking from side to side, shoulders and rolling your way onto your favorite side. Up into a cozy seat. Thank you, friends. Could you hear me okay? Or was it too loud today? It was too loud. Okay, thank you. Was it all right over there? <laughs> the speaker makes it hard to. Okay. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll take it. I was like, it's a little louder than I would normally want to say. Sorry about that, friends. Well, thanks for joining me. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a lovely day.